I am pleased to announce today that the county executive and I have reached an agreement that allows two key road projects in the community to move forward in a collaborative and most importantly timely fashion. Starting this week, the city will be seeking bids for the reconstruction of Buckeye Road on the east side between Monona Drive and Stoughton Road. The vast majority of the construction work will be completed this year, funded through a combination of city and county capital budget dollars. The project adds curb, gutter, storm sewer, and sidewalks to Buckeye, important improvements to our infrastructure that will result in a safer road for pedestrians, cyclists, and motor vehicle traffic. We designed this project together. We're going to rebuild the road together. And today we are excited to announce that we have agreed on how our two units of government are going to take care of this shared asset together. Dane County will continue to plow snow on Buckeye this next winter. Beginning in the winter of 2020, 2021, the city of Madison will take over snow removal responsibilities. All other maintenance responsibilities and jurisdiction of the road will remain with Dane County. In short, we will take care of Buckeye moving forward the way we do today with the only change being a new plowing partnership between the county and the city. Today, we're also announcing that we are going to work together on improving Cottage Grove Road between the Interstate and Sprecher Road. Work on this nearly $7.5 million project will begin next year and include widening Cottage Grove Road to four lanes east of the interstate and on road bike, on -road bike lanes and curb, gutter, sidewalk, and storm sewer work. The county executive intends to include the county's share of capital dollars for this project in his 2020 budget this fall. And the county will continue to maintain the road going forward as the county executive and I and our staff continue to talk about uh, policy in the long term. We are committed to continuing the dialogue about the smartest, best, and most efficient way for the city and county to work together on road projects in the coming years. As our city and our county continue to grow and development pressures result in increased and changing traffic patterns, there's a need for better communication and collaboration on how best to meet these challenges. We are committed to that work in full partnership. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a few questions if you have them. It was very important to me to make sure that we got the Buckeye Road project moving forward this year um, and didn't have to delay it for a year. And we are up against the deadline um, to get those bids out and still get it done this year. So it was the most pressing issue. But I think it's also important to signal to our entire community that we are operating under a new spirit of collaboration between the city and the county and between the city and many other bodies um, in our community. This was the kind of work on back and forth for a while. How easy was it for you two to come together and find some sort of agreement? You want to take that? Yeah, why don't you take that one? <laughs> um, thank you. Well, let me be one of the first to congratulate our new mayor. This is, um, I have to say, I think she has set a record for keeping a campaign promise the quickest. Um, you were sworn in 10, 15 minutes ago, and one of the one of the discussions that, that we had early on and one of the reasons I supported the mayor in her election bid um, was her commitment to collaboration with the county and with other units of government. There's a shared realization here that we share many, if not all, of the same challenges and the same opportunities. So that when we have the same objective and the same goal in mind, if we sit down together from a mindset of this is a problem we're going to solve together, we can get there. And instead of focusing on why we can't do something, when we focus on how we can do something, we can make a lot of headway. So I, I, I think what it takes is a shared commitment to doing what's best, not only for each unit of government, because there's overlap, right, in, in our constituents. My constituents in the city of Madison are her constituents and vice versa. But when we look at what's best for the community, what's best 
for the efficiency in this case um, wh when we're talking roads, I, I think it's important that this is a solid, concrete, literally and figuratively, example of what you can achieve when you work together for the common good. And one of the things that excites me tremendously about this partnership is that we have so many shared challenges and so many shared priorities between myself and the mayor when I look at the issues we deal with, with, with climate change, with clean water, with poverty, with access to opportunity. Um, we, we can't afford to not be working together on these issues. And what we've shown today is when there's a will, there's absolutely a way. And so something that was a log jam um, only weeks ago now has been, you know, a consensus has been come to, and both units of government win with this, and most importantly, the people we represent win with it. So what were the concessions that made it, that didn't work before, but work now? Well, I, I don't want to speak to what the last administration um, was thinking or doing, but uh, I think that we have agreed, most importantly, to have a larger policy discussion about the maintenance and reconstruction of county highways in the city. Um, and that allowed us, I think, to um, move on these two projects um, without fearing that we would be stuck in some kind of precedent going forward. But because we're going to have that larger conversation, um, we can do what's right for the community and move these two projects forward. Well, I'm particularly concerned about Buckeye because of the uh, safety of the school children on the street. And so that was a real priority for me to make sure that we were protecting their safety, pedestrian safety at large. Um, but you know, there, every year the city does different projects. And so these were the ones that we were stuck on. Um, I am very hopeful that we will not get stuck on any further projects like this in the future. I think we can have staff give you more details if you're interested. Yeah, we have um, numbers. I can follow. Yeah. Maybe one last question. How was that up there for you? I mean, this has been a long campaign, and you were sworn in just minutes ago. Tell us how you feel. I am really excited. Um, it was a great moment. I'm excited to work with the new council, the new council leadership. Um, and honestly, my mind is just swirling with all the things that I want to get done. Um, I'm really excited to work with the county executive, particularly on issues around climate change, flooding, stormwater management, green infrastructure. Um, you know, I had a meeting of top managers this morning, and um, the list is long, um, and I'm really excited to be able to move into the office and get to work. Uh, you know, it's not going to surprise you. I've been talking about this for a long time, and we need to work on affordable housing. We need to work on our transit system. We need to uh, be prepared for the impacts of climate change, um, and we're going to do that all through the lens of racial equity. So thank you all very much for coming today. I appreciate it. Feel free to follow up with our staff, um, and I'm sure I'll be seeing you all again soon.